And here we go, another Yeezy December release. Everything's kind of looking on track for Yeezy brand. We're pretty much headed into the biggest, most packed month in terms of release volume we've pretty much ever seen from Yeezy brand. And yes, I'm gonna be trying to cover as many of those December releases as possible. Speaking of, of course, we got another one today, and actually, this is a pretty solid sneaker. It's nothing that we've never seen before, but I definitely have some things to say about it, so let's get into it, guys. Let's do this, let's unbox it, let's break it down. Today, we're taking a look at the Yeezy 500 Ash Grey. Here we go, here is the cardboard box. 500 on the top, nothing on the sides. Let's pull these open, let's not waste time on this box. And uh, let's see here, oh, here we go. Today's sneaker, guys, the Yeezy 500 Ash Gray. So let's get this release timeline straight. This is the fourth colorway of the Yeezy 500 in terms of a low that's dropped this year. We've had the Inflame, the Taupe Light, the Clay Brown, and now this is the Ash Gray. And we've seen kind of plenty of the 500 highs peppered in there, sprinkled around this year, but in terms of a low top, this is only the fourth colorway. And of course, if you compare that to some of the other Yeezy models, that's not too many. What I'm trying to say is I kind of want to rescind my statement that these are just another boring colorway that we've seen and they look similar to the last colorways because these just might be my favorite ones that have dropped all year. I kind of feel like the rumors of the Yeezy 500 blush and Utility Black restocking at some point this year kind of took some of the interest off of this sneaker. But in and of itself, it is solid, it is clean, and a really, really nice colorway. Now, just to be clear, I still do think that it kind of looks similar to the last colorways that we saw, but if you think about it, really, the, I mean, the last colorway, the Clay Browns, those were only in the US, or at least the UK didn't get them. Either way, before we get too far into this, let me give you some release specifics on this pair of sneakers. They dropped on December the 4th, kind of kicking off yay December because there's so many dropping or upcoming this month. And of course, they retail for £170 here in the UK or $200 if you're out in the US. Now, they sold out, but I'm not too sure how tough these were to get like I had no issues picking these up in fact I did take an L on the Adidas confirmed at raffle I picked these up from another boutique so you guys let me know were these tough did you struggle to get these did you take an L but I don't think they're reselling for anything so yeah just let me know how your release day went if you did go for these Now one thing I really like and I've always liked about the Yeezy 500 is the versatility of this sneaker. It's a very rugged looking sneaker so I feel like it's also very applicable for rugged situations. If you're out and about, I don't know, doing something that requires a more rugged sneaker, these will do the trick. But at the same time I feel like these look great also as a super casual sneaker, something you can rock with a pair of sweatpants or something. Now like I said, big fan of this ash grey colorway, I feel like it goes super well with the 500 silhouette. like the really nice kind of light gray that they've dressed this in. Yes, I guess you could kind of maybe just say that it's pretty much clay browns with a bit of added brightness to it, but the gray is what I'm really focusing on here. It really shows off the complexity of the different layered materials that you find on the 500, and again, the 500 does have some really nice materials. There's kind of a two-tone effect as well, which I do really like. The upper is slightly brighter than the midsole. The midsole's kind of a little bit more of a darker gray, and also think the lighter nature of the upper is something that's going to make it even more of a versatile sneaker it just kind of goes with a lot of different outfits Now 
I also like the fact that these are $200. I guess that's still relatively expensive, but at the same time, for what you get in comparison to some other sneakers, it's not too bad. Like the suede on here feels incredible. You get that all over the toe box and up around the eye stays and around towards the back. But the main thing that I like is the leather on here. Like the leather material feels really, really great as well. The padded mesh material that you find around the sock liner and of course the midsection of the sneaker, again, just feels feels premium and feels really worth it. There's no boost. This is Adipreen cushioning, which feels pretty good underfoot. In general, the Yeezy 500 is a very comfortable pair of sneakers. In terms of sizing, I still go a half size up with the Yeezy 500. I mean, you could go true to size, but I still find them a little bit tight around the toe box, so I could pull off a true to size, but half size up is probably my best recommendation. Now look, again, I get it. This month is packed with a bunch of different Yeezys, and you're probably going to be a little bit more selective with what you choose, or maybe you're just saving your money for some of the bigger Yeezy releases like the Beluga 350 reflectives or maybe some foam runners, some slides. I'm not too sure. But as a Yeezy 500, and again, I'm a fan of the Yeezy 500, this is probably my favorite colorway of the 500 that's released all year. You know what, I actually feel like I would rank these pretty high as a Yeezy 500 low in general. Like this is probably one of the better colorways, if not one of my favorite colorways. So I guess if you're looking for a really solid Yeezy sneaker or just a really solid colorway of the Yeezy 500, I would highly recommend these. I think they are a really, really good pair of sneakers. But I do wanna know what you guys think. Let me know what you think of the Yeezy 500 Ash Gray down in the comments. That pretty much wraps it up for today's video, guys. I wanna thank you so much for coming through, hanging out with me for yet again another one thank you for liking commenting and of course subscribing i'll catch you guys in the next one but until then